la 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 Welcome back to Review It. I'm Kent. And today, I'm trying the new chicken wraps from KFC. Let's dig in. All right, we have the classic. We have the mac and cheese and a spicy slaw. I'll probably just open up one of them, look inside, and then I'll just try each individually, not refilm opening up each, because they'll be close enough. So, let's dig in. Okay, I ended up opening up the spicy slaw. All the other ones look very similar. They all have the chicken inside with the pickles beneath. This one has some spicy slaw. The other one has mac and cheese. And the classic has nothing but the chicken and pickles. Uh, I am a little disappointed on the sides of them. Uh, of course, advertising makes everything look bigger, but these are just about handheld, and that's about it. But we're going for flavor here, so let's see what this holds. First, a sip of their special Mountain Dew that's only made for KFC. Okay, it's a mango. It's a mango Mountain Dew. So it has that nice Mountain Dew flavor that everyone knows and some people love, some people don't. Uh, the mango is a little on the artificial side, but again, it's soda or pop, uh, as we call it here in the north. Uh, it is good. Is it mind-blowing? No. But is it good? Yeah. Would I get it again? Yes. If it was in the store, would I buy it? Probably. All right. First up, just a classic. Okay. That was a good piece of chicken. Mm-hmm. Firm, crispy. That one was not greasy at all. The 11 spices that they use definitely were front and center, uh, but not overpowering. They blended well with the chicken, just the right amount of fry time. Very good. Definitely, if it were a little cheaper, I would get that again. All together, all three wraps plus drinks and fries came to about 12. And you can combo it for about eight, which isn't bad, but they were a little small. So because of that, they do get knocked down a little bit, but flavor and everything was right there. Definitely they were going for flavor on that and I have to, and they nailed it. So that one is a good eight. Yeah, that was good. I like that. On to the next one, the spicy slaw. Very messy, but let's see. How it tastes. The spice kicks in at the very end. I can only taste it at first, but then it kicks in. And I'm not a huge fan of coleslaw to begin with. So I was hesitant about this one. And first bite, again, I was just like, oh, coleslaw. But it did blend well with the chicken. It went well with the, with the pickles. And they are nice thick pickles with a good dill taste. Which I like it when fast food nails that. And they don't go for the sweet pickles. Ugh, no. Uh, so it did blend very well together. Again, a good firm piece of chicken. Not greasy. Cooks right. The seasoning was there. And the spice, I did like the aftertaste of the spice. However, the one thing that I didn't like, and it's just personal opinion, is the coleslaw flavor that hit first, before everything else. Um, again, that's just personal preference. Again, this is a solid. I really enjoyed it. So I would have to give this one a 7.5. Uh, no, a 7. And again, that's just purely because of my own preference for the slaw. But I like the spice and everything else. Last one, the mac and cheese. Again. All right. Benefits of this one. Um, cheese. I love cheese. And at first, I was worried that the pasta and the chicken might not go well together. And I can see people not liking that. Me? And then after a bite or two, I liked it. 
It was a little strange to have that starch of the of the pasta and the chicken. So that those two textures almost clashed, but they ended up still working. The their cheese, our mac and cheese here, is good. So I could definitely tell that by eating that. That was, you know, real cheese and everything, and that flavor went well. Um, of course, they didn't put any pickles on this. I'm glad they didn't. Uh, but it worked. It did work well together. Now, this piece of chicken was a little bit drier. And of course, it is hit or miss. Um, so that was a little bit of a disappointment. As with the other two, they were cooked perfectly. Um, but as far as this one, I really like the cheese. The dryness of the chicken. And again... It, it did work, but the pasta and the chicken conflicted slightly. So this one would also have to get that. No, uh, even though I enjoyed the cheese, this one gets a 6.75. Um, because it did clash a little bit in the dryness. But still, go try them. I did really like them. Great snack size in between meals. Uh... Yeah, I'm, this, this trip did not disappoint. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, God bless and Merry Christmas.